Hello everyone, I'm on my third lot of coins from uh, a particular five ba uh, one pound bag lot that I purchased off of eBay. These uh, come out about nine to ten dollars each. And first bag was fantastic, second bag was pretty good, so far I give them a minus. There's a mixture of damaged coins, bad coins, a, a small number of common coins, but still a really good variety. And we found some high value coins on there and by high value i mean i've I, we found a couple of five dollar coins and we found a couple of coins that have uh, about a dollar exchange value and we're going to move on to bag number three let's uh dump all these on camera let's see what i get a couple of want to stick in there and uh, i'm going to do my best to skip through the coins that are very common like this Ten Fennec from Germany, hundred lira from from uh, Italy. Here's one you don't see uh, all that often from Norway. We've got a ten kroner from 1986. That is a uh, thick coin. Uh, we've got a fifty lira. Here's the uh, starfish sent from the Bahamas. This one caught my eye. This is not good. It is a plated one penny from 1967 so that means nothing to me 25 peseta is pretty common 10 new pence this one has my attention there's a country we don't see very often Cabo Verde Cape Verde that is a one dollar coin 1977 Estudar Aprender Simpre. Let me look up this coin for a moment in my catalog. Cape Verde was at one time a Portuguese uh, owned uh, dependency. So this is going to be one Escudo. And uh, it was only made in 1977-1980. This is the an FAO coin. And in uncirculated condition is worth a dollar fifty. So that's uh, that one's a win. Here is a, a twenty-five centimes from nineteen nineteen from France. Here's a pretty common hundred-year-old coin from Italy for twenty centimes. Thought it was neat the first time I found one, but now I have about twenty of those. Fifty rubles, early Soviet, at following the. Uh, break up of the Soviet Union. This looks like an uncirculated Bahamas 15 cents coin. So uh, I, I do get a lot of Bahaman coins in these uh, foreign coin mystery lots, but the 15, I don't get a lot of those. So I'm kind of glad to get another one of those. Here's another coin that has my attention. This is going to be a 20 kroner coin. from 1990 from Denmark with uh, Queen Margaret the two. It's a, a nice, uh, you got the segmented reading on there. I like that coin. That one's another uh, good pickup. We've gotten about five of those in the first two bags. 10 francs, so uh, where's this gonna be from? It's going to be a French, uh, oh, that's going to be uh, Cameroon from 1958. Very well worn, but um, you don't see a lot of coins from Cameroon. This uh, Jamaican $20 is actually surprisingly easy to find. Well, I've got about 10 of these uh, Rhodesia and Nyslin coins so far. It's a uh, 20 pence worth about a quarter in exchange value. Here's 50 ore from Sweden. Common, common, two cents. Uh, Australia, two cents. Cayman Island, one cent. Got about three or four of those so far. Okay, this one's a nice pickup. We've got uh, Isle of Man. And so, like a lot of these British colonies, uh, they uh, make coins the same uh, shape and size as the British coins, but have much more interesting uh, designs to them. 
So this one looks like a, a tractor going through a farm. And uh, it also tends to have the uh, Irish old-fashioned uh, lettering on it. So that's a nice coin right there. The common uh, one cent coin from Malaysia. Gotten several of these uncirculated Irish cents. Is it two and a half golden from the Netherlands? Not particularly rare, but uh, you, you see them every once in a while. You don't see them too often in these mystery lots. The common one franc. Common ten francs. Let's see, here is a Spanish. 100 pesetas. It's a nice uh, big coin with a lot of uh, writing on the edge. So I don't know if you can still tra uh, trade these in, but this would be worth uh, about 60 cents in foreign exchange value. I wonder if that's a token or a blank planchet. Then I guess we won't know. Here's a coin from, uh, let's see, that's from. Um, Panama, and hey, wait a second. I was about to say, usually these uh, quarters, uh, let's see, they call it a quarter Balboa, is usually a high relief coin, but there's a reason why this one isn't. This is silver. And it's telling us right here that it's, I'll get my thumb out of the light, that's a 90% silver coin. Tells us the number of grams right here. This is definitely a win. Let me look this one up for a moment. Well, I noted earlier how it doesn't it didn't seem to be the high relief version of the coin that I'm used to. They made this coin as a high relief version, meaning uh, kind of thicker details to it, up until this point. Then this is the last year they made it out of silver, and then the following year they went back to the high relief version. This, uh, with the 90% silver and being the same, uh, same uh, size as U.S. quarter, this has 0.18 or so uh, ounces of silver in it. So we're talking about a $4 exchange value on that one. Certainly a win, and, and you don't expect to find silver in lots like this. So that's making the whole, um, the whole lot look better. That's a common Chinese coin. Here's a uh, kind of a common Third Reich German 5 Finnig. So that coin made my day. Uh, we've got five wrapping, 20 centavos from Ecuador. This coin's kind of beaten up. But this lion means it's from Ethiopia. Wish that one was in better shape. It's a modern British uh, 10 pence. Common from Belgium. Common Denmark. Common Denmark. Coming from Japan. It's a Malaysia one sen. I think we had a different one sen earlier with a, a different design. That one has like some kind of high rise building on it. Here's a commemorative uh, Spanish coin from uh, 1997, 25 pesetas of Melilla. I guess that's what that says. So uh, Spain made a lot of commemorative coins that lasted for about one year, so that one's nice. Here's a uh, 50 pesetas coin, sort of rare, common Japanese coin, common sort of Denmark coin, pretty common one bot coin from Thailand. I think every bag's had one of these echidna five cents from Australia. Here's a uh, three pence from Britain. Another Cayman Island penny. Yeah, that looks old. So we've, every bag so far has had one really old coin that had tape on it. But this one has, the first one that has details that we can actually read. This one is Alfonso the Twelfth, And from 1878. So damaged for sure, but uh, might fill a hole in someone's collection. It's going to be uh, Cinco Centimos. So five cents. So I mean that's better than an average coin you'd see in a lot like this, perhaps. There's the modern five pence where it's a lot smaller than it used to be. Here is an aluminum ten sen coin from Japan. 
Uh, there's a common five ore from Norway. Maybe it's not that common. I don't think I have it. Just uh, that side, all it is is about a, is that like a dragon with an ax? <laughs> kind of an unusual uh, design. Let's see, this is a uh, another high, uh, high dollar coin. So a one dollar coin from Singapore. Common uh, French five centimes. 25 kurus from Turkey. That's uh, 60 years old. We got a uh, common 10 cents, 20 centimes. Another really old coin. Well, this one looks really old, but it's uh, bad shape. Well, you know, it's dirty, but the, the features are more better than I thought it when I first saw it. From 1948. Peru 20 centavos. Maybe it's rusty is what I'd say the problem with this one is. There are versions of this coin where instead of just putting the number of the date, they actually spell it out in Spanish. So it's like big words I can't read. <laughs> Here's another Bahamas 15 cent diamond check coin. South African 2 cent. Czech Republic 1993 one Karuna. Not too rare. Here's a pretty common one shilling from Austria. Another old coin. This one is from Mexico. Another damaged coin. Which, if nothing else, is it's still interesting. This is going to be a one centavo coin from the late 1800s. So, if you, if you were to ask if I'd rather have that or like a, a modern one cent coin from Mexico, I'd easily take the older one even though it's in pretty poor shape it's this uh, queen elizabeth coin so hong kong five dollars there's the brass uh, five wrapping another this one might be a five cent aluminum coin from japan here's a uh, brass coin from taiwan Another horrible shaped coin. This one is from Tunisia, 1945. I think we saw one of these in, a, in the, the last bag. This one's in much worse shape. Again, it's you know, kind of damaged there. Another five centavos, one shilling, ten cents from Jamaica, one finnig. Another of these uh, Japanese aluminum coins. It's an Irish half penny, uncirculated. So, what I'm glad to see about this one, if you wonder what all those zinc coins from World War II era look like when they were new, they're going to shine like this one. This is the five Groschen coin from Austria is about the only coin made out of zinc in the last 50 years that I know of. And so, uh, here's, uh, so this is a zinc coin in pretty good shape. You know, if this coin was black, I probably, uh, in color like most zinc coins are, I probably wouldn't have stopped and shown it. But that's pretty neat. Here's a uh, tin, common tin yen coin. Oh, here's another Rhodesia and Nyslin coin. I've got plenty of those. Uh, tin fittig, one franc, Sweden tin ore. And Hong Kong, uh, 50 cents. Five uh, lira, agarot maybe, from Israel. Here's an older twenty lira, nineteen fifty-eight. Portugal five escudos, that's pretty common. Ten pesos from Chile is common. Five yen. The common British uh, two shillings. Most of this coin is uncirculated, not the edges. This is a one agarot coin from Israel. This is one of the very first coins in my collection was one of those. I found it in a box fan. Here's a uh, damaged coin from... Kind of a strange coin to be putting in into a jewelry. But I think that's a... Uh, 25 centavos from Dominican probably plated it looks uh, too shiny for that this is a very common one peseta coin from spain but that one's uh 
uncirculated. Common French coin, common French coin, common Australian coin. Here's another very old coin that's has tape on it. Another 1800s. This one I think is Sweden. One of those uh, countries. It's maybe one or two or. It's uh, weird that they had several of these uh, tape damaged coins in this lot. And we're going to finish off with, uh, there's a common coin from Thailand, another 10 yen. And our last little tiny coin is one Kuru from Turkey. But that one's in really nice shape. This is one of the tinier coins you're going to see. 1967, so 50 year old, that's pretty good shape for being that old. All right, so this is uh, lot number three. I've got two more. I'm going to release them on different days. If you like this, check out my foreign coin uh, showcase link that I'm going to have here at the end. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.